this idea is strange. <laughs> <laughs> he got baptized by a street car. <laughs>
all fixed. <laughs> you know what the scary it's part is? Problem, is I got pulled man. over today with this sitting behind oh the my seat. God. <laughs> I shot a gun out, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just road fuses, old ones. Oh. So they look like sticks of dynamite. <laughs> when I bought the house, there was a whole box of them in there, and I've been trying to figure out what to do with them. Like road the flares. Yeah, the box just deteriorated, so they're flopping around everywhere, so I taped them up. Nice. And that way, if somebody does it now, I can toss this out of them and walk them down. Will the fuse actually hey, light? We should light one and throw it up on top of the trailer while Kenny's doing that. <laughs> no, all I have is this damn, I don't have any cannon fuse. Oh. So all I had was this piece of wire. It was red and green, which is usually You just shoved fuse. it in there? Yeah, just shoved it down in there. <laughs> so you make the wick shorter and shorter. You want to see what he does? Hmm. It really does look like dynamite. Yeah, you should throw it up there. Oh, go on. No, no, he's going to jump <laughs> off and then... We don't have workers comp. <laughs> You gonna light it? There you go. <laughs> we was hoping you jump off. I'll scare that easy. Is the juice of shit blowing up around here? I have a feeling. Light the candles. <laughs> Start it up. Well, here I am, halfway through an ECU flash, updating to the newest Terminator X software, and we've been stuck at the same spot for about three minutes now. And I've been told not to close it because that can break your ECU. So I guess we just wait. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I was kind of hoping to drive this thing that way we could go get parts, but here we are. Well, I ended up getting the new software downloaded. I had to re-download it on the computer. Something must have fucked up the file while I was downloading it to the computer. Too much porn on there or something, I don't know. <laughs> now we're gonna head to Bob's, take these parts for the big block to him. This thing needs a bath. Parts off tonight at shop behind garage. Try to hit it hard tomorrow morning. I do a little parts drop off. Bob's Bob's not feeling real well and he's done for the day. So he's gonna get up in the morning and he'll probably have all this stuff together by the time I get there. It'll probably be on the dyno ready to go by the time I, I get there and then we can film it making pulls. Proving this one. TKX experience. Somebody was so bad in the last video that I broke the Falcon with two legs. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I drive race cars with two feet. Yeah, I mean, uh, you have to drive a race car with two feet to stage, especially a turbo car. So you just kind of have a habit of having your foot on the brake with your left. Oh my, yeah, I just <laughs> the pedal's so soft. <laughs> no, it's it's really hard to take off in first gear. I think it's got like a 352 or three, 355 oh gear. This, this car will humble your driving skills real fast. It's like you either just gotta drive it fast or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That 
healthy little ignition cut. I think once I get it running 100%, it's gonna be a really nice car. Get the hood and the balance on it, maybe five bucks swap it. I might be happy enough to do a giveaway on it if I can get the oil leaks fixed and get it running right, looking good. issues. These cats just pulled a racer flyby on us, so. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Pristine, dude. Like, he's always garage kept, always, you know what I mean? I like and, the 80s and 90s stuff. Yeah, he, he, He's got the 92 Camaro and he bought it brand new and it's this is in really good shape but it even makes this thing look, oh yeah you know it's I mean perfect shape inside out he's even got a bat dude he's got a fucking system from Howling it you know what I mean <laughs> but it, it, it hardly has any miles on it he's 
he always drives kept it. He barely drives it, you know what I mean? He drives it, you know, maybe. Well, this one's been abused pretty hard. Yeah, but, so. but look how clean it is, though. It, it, it's been Not bad hard. for an Ohio car. It's, it's been driven hard. Yeah. People's been on oh, yeah. using the power. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What, you just got today? No, I, I got it about a month or two ago. Oh, it's yours? Yeah. I just bought this for my daughters today. Because we, we already got Oh, one. shit, you got a flat tire. Oh, shit. It's, actually, that thing's busted. Holy I'm shit. To get, but the back's good for now, so I'll just have to replace that later. Yeah. I'll be good to get home with that. With that back. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I just thought I got a hell of a deal, dude. I, I got no, I got a 32-footer. But I bought this size uh, thing for, I got nine, six and nine-year-old daughter. Yeah. And uh, and uh, this is gonna be like a little project for me and her to <laughs> hang yeah. out with my nine year old, you know, because she's in that kind. Of, she loves campers, she loves camping, just like me as a kid. So, That's cool, dude. They wanted six hundred bucks, and I, I can't beat that. And, and, and the table and everything's still there in the back part, but the whole front part's empty, so we can do whatever we want with it. You know what I mean? So, That's awesome, man. Right, what's your name? Billy. Billy, nice to meet you, Billy. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Take care. You take care, man. Enjoy that car. How many miles does it have? I'm not really sure, honestly. I think it's probably got 130. 130. That was what was on the title. It's a, it's totally different. It's twin turbo, dark block. So. That goes. Yeah, it's you it's. Got man drive it? Yeah, it's my brother. Oh, your brother. Have we fun. we have a YouTube channel. We film stuff all the oh, time. What's, what's the name, dude? I'll subscribe. Street racing channel. Here, I'll subscribe right now, dude. Yeah, third one. Street racing. Third Street one. Channel. Yeah. Okay. You need to come with the, well, at least you're third on the list, which is good for street, you know what I mean, street <laughs> yeah. racing. So that's that means you're doing good being third on the list, you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, you got 289 kids, so you're making money. Yeah, you're making money off yeah, that's of that's what it. I do full time. Yeah, yeah, you're making, I didn't know you had that many subscribers, that's awesome. So yeah, I, I was thinking maybe you're small, but how you got, you're doing good, 289. If you're, you know you're doing good when you're third on the list, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? But I, you see, I got, I'm subscribed. Okay. So awesome. I'll be checking it all out, man. And I'm Justin, so I'll be leaving comments and shit and talking to you. And hell yeah. You got, but you guys have fun. All man. right, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You want to go ahead and put that side in? Yep. There, we need to run a fuel pressure test. You got to hook up water. Ah, oh, we don't need no water. We don't need no water. I don't see any leaks. Okay, there's a pressure gauge down by your left hand down here on the back. Yep, that pressure? It's got like 11 pounds. Yeah, it's off, yeah. Party, we can look at the light. Justin, get the timing set close. Yeah. And then we'll see if we get the carburetor to be close. Okay. Turn it in and get ready to go.
Yeah. Probably, that's probably 28. I, 20, I can hear it. Not a big deal. Oh, yeah. Hey, it runs. It runs. Hey. I don't see it leaking anything. Well, it looks nice. Yeah. So that'll all drain back if we have those drain backs to the end. So, we put in some uh, plugs in the back of the heads for right now, but I'm going to run a drain back line that goes from the head down to the oil pan. Just to help get some of that oil back to the oil pump faster. You see how I opened that up down in there? Uh huh. See it running down it's in running. there? Running. And then that that's under under oil right now too, after the most of the way, so that'll drain too. I mean you heard it run? Yeah. I mean it's good enough for now. I'm gonna say it's good enough now. We can put the valve cover on it and you can worry about your S head. Uh, as far as that we can leave a set in when you get back. Yeah. I mean you should know the status of it. Yeah. Readjust the rockers. Yeah, I mean, we just got to retort the head, readjust stuff. What wire temp did it get up to? That's what I looked. It's, it's actually showing 140 in the tank, so it did get warm enough, but I'd like to see it go through another cycle. Yeah, before you retort. Yeah, because these gaskets are thicker. They are. I mean, it, I think it's going to take more of a compression to get them reseated into like that wire. It up to 190 yeah, yeah, yeah. Or do it multiple times to help, to help that copper seat in. I mean it's easier to retorque it now and prevent something than it is to, to skip and it's easy to do here. That's that's nothing compared to the small block with taking the valve springs off. Yeah. That's just some stands. <laughs> you know but see the thing is is if there's ones underneath there see yeah. this all have to come off. You gotta take the bases to the you gotta base take off. The, you gotta take the base off to get the ones underneath. I told you I knew it was that was close. I knew where it was at. It was like 15. Yeah. Yeah. I usually shoot for 20. Yeah, it's enough to start. It. And so I, I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you don't want it starting hard. I, I don't want to start. I want to just pop. I actually was hoping there wouldn't be enough fuel in there that it would crank a little bit to get. But we had just put oil pressure on it. Yeah. So it was okay. It started real easy. All right, so we're here at McVeigh, and we got the big block on the dyno. I know you guys have been asking about it and here it is it's on the dyno we just fired up for the first time since redoing everything it's got new rods uh, new crank because it destroyed the crank and it's basically the same pistons same heads same combination just new uh, we had to fix a lot of things on it we put some oil drain backs in the heads to help with the oil pressure issues we were having and we also drilled more holes in the lifter valley to drain more oil back and kind of let crankcase pressure escape through the from the oil pan up into the uh, you know evacuate the valve covers and everything we're hoping that our oil pressure issues are, are fixed Bob you know went through and made sure all his clearances were to his liking we'll go from there um, I've got all the tunes saved from last year so it should be able to just drop the engine down in there and, and fire it up you know none of the turbo kit got destroyed from the accident so that stuff should all go back together we're gonna have to set the engine down in there get everything together and then bucko's gonna come put a new front end on it we've already got all the front end parts for the most part it really should be a quick process super happy with it i'm i'm really glad that we took the engine over here and and had bob go over it i wish i had done it from the beginning but it's in good hands now and i'm glad that we're we're getting somewhere on it I'm excited to start racing the Nova again. So this weekend we're going to be testing at a private track rental. I'm not going to say where. We're going to be shaking down the truck and making some passes on the Falcon. And then we're going to go to a race this weekend down in Mississippi called the Inverse. And we're going to be there um, Friday and Saturday, I believe. It's going to be 85 degrees, nice, sunny. I'm looking forward to going down there. And I don't have any high expectations or anything. I haven't made a single pass on the S10 still. I'm probably going to go home today and just make some pulls on on the road, but I'm not looking for a win. I just want to make sure that I get some data and it goes back in the trailer in one piece. That's all I care. I'll be happy. Yeah, and then bring in the Falcon too. Yeah, Tommy will have a good shot in the Falcon for sure. And the S10 may do well. It may not. Who knows? You know, it's, it'll be the first time out on it. So I, like I said, I don't have any high expectations, but you know, I'm just looking to make some headway on it and 
get ready for Texas for if I have to take the S10. I would rather take the Nova, but if I have to take the truck, then I will. And another thing is like, I've taken so much weight off the nose of the truck that that's gonna be a whole nother learning curve too. Yeah. And um, you know, it's just gonna take a little bit of time getting used to. I can tell the nose is really light when I drive it around because it comes up really easy, like way easier than before. It'll be a learning curve, but we'll get it. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go tune on the S10 a little bit and let Bob do his thing. We gotta warm it up another one or two times and then we'll retorque the heads and maybe make a little motor pull on it, see what it makes on motor. You're looking lovely today. You're so sweet. So lovely. Hi, Tess. Morning. Morning. It's morning for me. <laughs> it's usually morning for me. Am, so. Oh, we'll just take some Sharpie, you know? Yeah, that's how. You'd probably get like halfway through it and then not do the purple. Rest. Yeah. <laughs> well, what'd you see? Well, we're about to see. 72 pounds of oil pressure, 3.5 air fuel, 22 degrees of timing, and 15 pounds of boost. It felt, it felt fine. You know, it wasn't near as lively as it was when it was trying to hurt itself, but I also took like 10 degrees out of it and added another 0.3 fuel, so. 3.5 at 16 pounds is pretty pretty rich, but it's safe. Yeah. See what the EGTs were. Just add boost to that. It's a little warm. <laughs> These aluminum blocks, man, when they heat up, the oil pressure ain't shit when you're just quick idling. It's only like 20 pounds. I think Eddie's holds more together because it's billet. It'll, it'll have 100 at boost. Hello. Hello. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> Jesus. Good. I'm, gonna pull up, I'm about to pull out the EGTs. I'm going to bring the laptop in here. Okay, take three. <laughs> so I get to the airport to pick these guys up, and I'm in the Malibu, and this little Mogadishu guy comes up. He says, you must pull up. You must pull up. You must circle around. You must circle around. I'm like, they're going to be here any minute. No, no, you must pull up. Okay, so I started up. I pull up. You must pull up. I start up, I pull up. You must pull up. I start up, I'm like, I'm gonna let it run. I said, if you guys wanna piss the shit out of me, you can smell corn and listen to this thing. So <laughs> it sat there, blah, 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 and everybody's coming outside going like. <laughs> we heard it basing out before we went through the doors. <laughs> <laughs> the doors in the airport were just rattling. All you heard is <laughs> <laughs> And then the guy, then the other guy wants to see underneath the hood, security guy. Security. He was cool, but the other guy, he was by the book. You must pull up. You must pull up. I'll do it. Uh, did you do the update? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm trying to get this shit off. Some of them are 1400. 1400? Yeah. 
hot. That's hot. You want to keep around 11, right? 12? Yeah, I mean, 1 and 2 are at 12. 3 and 4 are at 1400. 5 is 1470. 6 is 1333. And 8 is 1315. So, 3? Three. 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5 are hot. Well, you know why? Because you have so much timing out of it now, I think. Do you want to keep our piano on there? You have to remember that those have... It's 3, 5. Yeah. The, the exhaust valves are Siamese on those cylinders. Remember? They may get hotter than the others. But two two would be Siamese to something and it's not. No, right? it's not. Two's oh no, you're front. right. Two's in the front. So three, five, I'm thinking of four, four, and six are Siamese exhaust. Yeah, three, five, four, and six. Yeah, so six wasn't terrible. It's 1333. Four is 1416. Five is 1477. Three is 1455. Two is 1270, one is 1290. You never had well, I mean, I can add more fuel to the hot ones. Just right. three, four, and five. Yeah, and I already, I already added 5% to three because I could see it was 200, pound, 200 degrees hotter at idle. Yeah, see, three is 19, 192 pounds per hour. The rest are 183, <laughs> and it's still hot on that one. So we may have a little bit of trash in number three. Oh. All right, where's Tommy? I'm going to go ball his ass up in flip-flops because it's... Why not? He's on his way. Okay, then we can go. I can go ball up. <laughs> I mean, okay. I'm not. Work on help, help I'll, whoever's I'll here watch. For a <laughs> I just got a fresh uh, pedicure too. They're they're ready to go. So what's the That's why you wear the flip flops. <laughs> He's like, should I wear my flip flops? I should wear my flip flops. Why are you wearing flip flops? Well, he like, spent all that money on the pedicure. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Paid someone to touch his toenails. <laughs> Back. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Uh, we didn't get to video it, but the Mustang is running a lot better. The black car, I found out that the timing was turned way back on it, so I turned the timing back up, and uh, it doesn't shoot ducks out the exhaust anymore. It runs really good. It's extremely fast. We'll take some, some more content with it soon. Um, it's raining today, so we weren't able to drive it. And, uh, you know, when I got it running good, it was dark out, so we couldn't get any video of it. So we got the truck ready. Uh, had to fix a few little issues on it. We'd made some pulls yesterday. Had a couple little oil leaks and things that we had to address. Overall, the EGTs, having those EGTs was a big game changer. Uh, the second pull I made, I don't think I got it on video. I think I only videoed the first pull, but. The second pull, it made 15 pounds, and I was able to see all the EGTs, and it was pretty astounding how different each one was, usually like on a small block Chevy. Uh, the center two cylinders on each side, the Siamese cylinders are always hotter. We found that that was the case on this deal too. The, si the Siamese cylinders were all about 100 to 200 degrees hotter than the rest, so I put a lot more fuel in those cylinders and took a couple degrees of timing out of them and hopefully try to cool those down a little bit and it showed in the plugs when I pulled the plugs out all the EGTs matched what the plugs were looking like too so good data to have and I'm glad that we have it going into the season and make sure that it's as safe as I can get it. We'll be putting it on the dyno I think on Thursday we'll be doing some track testing and then uh, Friday and Saturday we'll be racing in Mississippi so Falcon there the S10 and my dad's gonna take his Malibu and run the uh, daily driver class so should be a good time. Hopefully we'll get some good racing content for you guys. It's been a while. So I'm looking forward to racing again. It's been killing me. This whole winter has just been a drag. You know, ever since the pad, it's just been pretty much downhill from there. So, ready to go out and do some racing. See you guys. I think that Mustang's fast. I think we can get him. Apparently it's fast. <laughs> so Billy says. Tony and Tess, every time they come out, we like to go shoot some hoops. It's finally, it's like 50 degrees, which is like really 70 in Ohio this time of year. So we're taking this opportunity to play some basketball before they have to leave tomorrow. I don't need J's. This guy, this guy brought his J's. I'm in my grass cutting shoes. Is that, you're already making excuses. No, I'm saying I'm gonna beat him in my grass cutting shoes, <laughs> is what I'm saying probably play on the other side. I could just about dunk on that one. Do you hear this guy? I don't know, I like this one. Yeah, because it's short. Oh, T-Money's got the shit. Because all your shots are going to be short with your gimp leg. 
My game plan? Not re-tear my ACL today. Apparently, you know, he wants to dunk on the, the, it's kinda the tall rim. I'm telling you, that's the best one. What's this one like? Oh, that's a little tall. Yeah, it's crooked. Don't matter. Yeah, that one's kind of fucked up. Don't matter. Concrete. I like this one. Me personally. Let me just bend this side. I like this one, me personally. <laughs> I mean, I would like to play on this rim. <laughs> and shoot from right there? That's short. Okay, I mean, I'll play on this one. Are we playing twos? Jesus. What? <laughs> 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 this guy. Board. Tommy thinks he's gonna come out here and hit shots. Rebounds. He ain't hitting none. Rebounds. Tommy, two twigs. Tommy, two buckets. I haven't even had a shot yet. She don't need one. Watch this. I do need one. This is a funky rim. No. I'll let the gimp get it. Oh dear. Oh, I'm ready. Who you want? Oh, I got All right. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep up. <laughs> what are we playing to? Ones and twos. Eleven. <laughs> oh God. My bad. Our ball. <laughs> <laughs> Good defense. That's what we like to see. That's all he's got. He's all defense. <laughs> I'm gonna set you a screen. <laughs> we ain't worried about that. He's with us. Aww. Into the swamp. Hands are cold. Can't even dribble. Give me a big one. Big one. He needs a screen. What a bitch. Look at that. Oh god. Ah! I was afraid to foul. Oh. Second earlier. Shoot your shot. <laughs> he looks down at it. <laughs> Pretty sure he's out. Sorry. He's out. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you. Yeah. I like the effort. <laughs> Shoot it. I got bored. Bang. Oh, oh. No. Bored. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my, look at the pass. You better finish that. Bang. Oh. <laughs> Hell no. Big screen. That's off her. From the shooting, I... <laughs> oh! Buckets. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Back. He's like, calling for it. No that one's probably in. Yeah, he was due. Hell no. She's talking about hell no. Everything you do is hell no. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Teddy's got him. That's off. Yep. You're oh. getting it. <laughs> We all got five. Right, we got nine. We're good. Pick left. Oh, great shot. Oh, Three. I'll take my chances. Give me a screen. <laughs> hey, <Tony's> on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Game. Okay, best two out of three. Let's go. That's off. Tony. Oh my. That fence is just a little higher. She just shot a little better. Not you, not you. Him, him. I was talking to him. I was about to say, I don't see you put up any shots. Oh, I had a three, a two. Oh, psych. Psych. To the hoop all day long. Nah, we ain't worried about that. <laughs> no. All day. Hell no. Dude. So far. <laughs> Party on, Garth. Game on. Game on. 
Bro, you can fucking shoot that all day long. I don't give a shit. Let him take that. Too fast. A little too hard off the backboard. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. Dude, what you You're getting carried. You're literally getting carried. You're getting no carried. I had half the points last game. He's about to pull up and splash that shit again. Oh my God. Let him cook. <laughs> he always does almost a dribble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in. Thompson, Thompson, Thompson. And one. <laughs> no. We're on call foul. I didn't even touch her. That was ball. <laughs> All right, you're not wrong. Oh my God. That might have been a... Oh. I got it. Nah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I'm about to stub my finger. You suck. Well, I'm trying. Oh my God. His passes are so... They're in crisis mode. <laughs> no way. Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> buddy, give me a screen. Who needs a screen? What's that? Gonna get him. Good save. I'm coming, I'm coming. Shoot it! Get right there. The defense is just too good. Yes! <laughs> He's got happy feet, that's in. Well. <laughs> He's got the board. Switch back. Oh, <laughs> I got you. I got you, baby. <laughs> what you guys got? Nine. To one? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm Nicole Jokic. I see Billy to guard me. Is that a makeup? <laughs> it did. It didn't hit around. What? What did it say? <laughs> he missed. <laughs> no. Dude is There's a master 10. of deception. <laughs> Come get it, big fella. Yep. Come get it. Oh my oh my god. Jump ball? All the way? Oh. I fouled him. I fouled him. <laughs> I'm rapping. What? what? Good steal. <laughs> he gave it to her just so he could steal it. <laughs> He's low key got a nice jumper today. I don't know why. And we're going over the fence. Good board. Kobe. Oh shit. What happened? I shot over your head. Keep talking, bitch. <laughs> That's my dog right there. Give me the assist. Look at the pass. Look at the pass. Right up, 
He's got the foul on. Oh, you had it. You were burning him. Bang. What's oh. that? I got you. I got you, big fella. <laughs> oh. oh, what the? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Foul. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's out on you. Get it, Allison. <laughs> Popper. I learned that one from Billy. Toes on the line. Get a rebound. Go around it. Ooh. Wow. Oh, oh. handsome. <laughs> He's stiff arming him. <laughs> <I'm one. laughs> what was that one? Hit me in my face? <laughs> yeah, we're there. No worries. That's not his shot. Oh, no, you just chose not to suck. Good. Big screen right there. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Offensive foul. Whoa, I got him. Well, I got my big screen. I'm waiting for the roll. <laughs> 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 he does everything. It's got California weather in Ohio. <laughs> it's raining, please. Hell no. Oh my. He just went in there. Bop. Don't even need the box out. Hell no. Oh, what a pass. Whoa. Oh, I oh my. <laughs> Reject it. Oh my. There. Undisputed MVP. <laughs> he, he is fucking you guys up. Okay, I'm gonna go throw up. <laughs> <laughs>